It's okay to not know what your true purpose in life is right now, but it's not okay to not be in constant pursuit to find what that is every single day. Today, we're going to be talking about a simple question to find your purpose. I hear this almost all of the time. Pretty much every single day, I get a message on Instagram or Facebook or through email, and it has something to do with Rob. I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what I'm passionate about. What should I do with my life? How can I find it? How can I get out of this job that I hate and follow my true passions if I don't know what my passions are? So today, that's what we're going to be diving into. And uh, I'm going to ask you the question, and I want you to uh, go on a journey with me here and play along. And I want you to, you know, uh, one thing that I always say is if I'm going to ask you a question, I want you to dream and I want you to think about your life. Act like you're four years old. Do you remember when you were four years old and anything was possible in the world? Well, you grow up and then you start learning what's quote unquote realistic and you start, you know, start holding yourself back because of what you think is realistic and what's not realistic. I want you to pretend like you're five years old right now. Anything is possible. There are no restrictions. You could be an astronaut. You could be a cowboy. You could be a princess, whatever it is that you want to be. And I want you to go along this scenario with me. And I want you to really, truly dream and don't hold yourself back. You ready? I want you to pretend that you wake up tomorrow and you get a notification on your phone and you look in your phone and you're like, what the hell is this? This has got to be wrong. This is my bank saying this. I got a notification from my bank. I'm going to go ahead and go online. So you get online, you sign into your Bank of America account or whatever account that you have. And it's not wrong. You were just given $500 million. You have $500 million sitting in your bank account right now. What do you do? What do you do? You have $500 million. You never have to worry about money ever again, ever. You don't, your children's don't, your children's children don't. You don't have to worry about ever money ever again. So what do you do? Well, first off, you're probably going to do what most people do. You go buy the things that you always wanted to buy first, right? You buy the house that you've always wanted to buy. Maybe you buy one in Florida. You buy one in California. You buy one that's down in the Caribbean. Maybe you buy one in Italy. You go take all the trips that you want to. You know, you go to Italy. You go to Europe. You go to Thailand. You go to Australia. You take your children with you. You buy a couple of those houses, you fill them with all of the clothes you've always wanted. You buy the purses and the shoes that you've always wanted, the watches that you've always wanted, the toys that you've always wanted. You buy all the toys for the kids that they've always wanted. You buy everything for every person that you've ever wanted. You buy your mom that new house. You buy your mom the new car. You buy everything that you can. You literally buy all of the stuff that you've always wanted, right? Because that's what people tend to do. But then what? You're given $500 million. Let's say you spend $5 million doing that. You still have $495 million. You've bought everything that your heart could possibly desire. All of the things that you've thought that you wanted. And then you get to the point where you realize things do not fulfill you. You don't feel any different. And you've got all of this time left on earth. You're not dead yet. So what do you do? How would you fill your time? If you had $495 million, you have everything you've ever wanted. You never have to worry about money again. You're safe. You get all of the food that you've ever wanted. All of your needs forever are taken care of. After getting all of those things, what would you do? How would you fill your time? What would you put your time into? What would you put your energy into? What would you put your money into? What would you be putting, your, put, putting out in your life if you never had to worry about money ever again. See, a lot of people say this. They say, well, I would spend most of my time with my family. Beautiful. Great. I love that you would spend most of your time with your family. But I'm going to tell you this. You would get to a point where you're bored, right? You'd still spend time with your family. But the one thing that I do know about coaching hundreds and hundreds of humans is that humans have the innate desire to create. That's one thing that I've realized about humans. The second thing is that humans have the innate desire to give back, to help others. What lights them up the most is creating stuff, being creative, and also helping other people. So what would you do? For me, if I had all of the money in the world, I had all of the stuff I ever wanted to buy, I'd still be doing what I'm doing right now. Why? Just because this is what I love. Like I love doing this. If I made no money doing this, I would still be doing it. I would still have the camera set up. 
I still have the microphone set up. I'd still be putting this out there. I'd still be helping people. I'd still be coaching people. I'd still be learning about personal them and the human brain and how the human brain works. I'm just, I'd, I'd be working hardcore on myself and my personal development, on my spiritual development, studying the human mind, the human psyche, recording videos and podcasts and writing books, doing events, in-person events. I'd be doing what I'm doing now. Why? Because that's what lights me up. But what would you be doing? Because yours might look way different than mine and that's beautiful. That's okay. But what would it be? See, nothing makes people feel better than creating and helping other people. So what would you do in that situation? Would you start a business? Would you record videos? Would you start a podcast? Would you become a coach? Would you start a charity? Would you donate your time? Would you go help people in different countries? Free people. What would you do? What is it that you would do? Now, the beautiful part of this question, the real benefit of this question, is that normally what most of us are doing with our lives throughout the majority of our lives is in the pursuit of money. And that right there, you've already got. So you don't have to pursue money anymore. So what would you do? What would truly light you up inside? Now understand, this is a tough question. And I'm not expecting you to know the answer right now. But if you journal through it and you start thinking about it over the next couple of days and think, if I did have all the money in the world and I wouldn't have to go on this pursuit of happiness or pursuit of, of money, excuse me, what would I do? What would I do with my time? Because normally, like I said, what we do is we pursue money. We make choices to get money. Maybe we start a business that we truly aren't 100% passionate about, but we know we can make a lot of money doing it, or at least make some money doing it. Or maybe we get into a job that we truly don't love and it's not what we want to be doing, but we did it for the money. Maybe we went to school to get the job that would pay us the amount of money that we want, but it's not truly what we want. It's not truly our passion. And the be beautiful benefit of this question is it cuts out all of the crap. It cuts out all of the fillers. It takes out the pursuit of money because you've already got it. So now what do you do? What's going to light you up inside? It cuts down to what are your true passions. And that's what you truly need to figure out. Often, like I said, we start the business or we get into a job just to make money. You ain't got to worry about that anymore. So what are you doing with your time? How are you spending your energy? What are you creating? Believe me, you weren't born to just work, make money, pay the bills, and die. You were born to do something more. But have you ever actually taken yourself outside of the box that you've been raised in and that you live in and asked yourself, what the hell do I truly want with my life? What is it that lights me up inside? What is it that makes me feel good? What would you do? Would you paint? Would you make music? Would you create an album? Would you figure out what the full expression of who you are is and bring that out to the world? Here's the thing that I know. A lot of people don't do what they truly want to do because they're afraid of being judged by others. One thing that I know sometimes is that cash is confidence and sometimes people have so much confidence when they start making money that they start creating stuff and they don't care what anybody else thinks about them and it doesn't hold them back anymore. So if not only you had all of the money in the world, but also you had all of the confidence in the world, what would you do? What would you create? How, what would you put your time and energy into? You know, if you want to spend all of the time in the world with your children, well, when they go to school, what would you do with yourself? You're not just going to sit around and play on Instagram, right? You're not going to buy any more things because you've already bought all of the things. So what are you going to do? And here's the thing. I understand that, that in this moment right now, you're not going to be able to immediately, most of you, know what your true passion and true purpose is. But this is a start in the right direction. And the reason why this question is so important, as I said, is because majority of the time, we do what we do in the pursuit of some money. Like we're like kind of passionate about something, but we know we can make money doing it. We're kind of passionate. We're kind of dipping our toes into the water of what our true passion is, but we're not fully jumping in. This question cuts out all of the crap. You've got all the money. What would you do? You've got all the money and you've got all the confidence in the world. What would you do? Because if you're not doing that right now, once you figure out what it is, you're not living your life to your full potential. You're not living your full expression of yourself. It's okay not to know what your true purpose is right now. I say this all the time and it really connects with people. It's okay not to know what your true purpose is in life right now is, but it's not okay to not be in constant pursuit to find out what that is every single day. Let me say that again. 
It's okay to not know what your true purpose in life is right now, but it's not okay to not be in constant pursuit to find what that is every single day. Because if you're not searching, if you don't know what it is and you're not searching for it, then what are you doing today? What are you doing with your free time? What are you doing with your life? And I don't mean to sound this as if I'm talking down to you, but what I truly really mean is if you don't know what it is, why are you not searching for it? Why are you not trying to find it? Because ultimately, like I said, we weren't born just to pay the bills and die. We were born to do something amazing. Have you found out what that amazing thing is? Or are you just stuck in the rat race? And you just go to work, you come home, you heat up some food, you watch Netflix, you go to bed, you wake up and do the same thing every single day. What are you doing? You were not born to just make money, pay the bills and die. You were born to thrive. You were born to create something beautiful. There's so much potential in you, but the only person that can bring it out is you. So either you let it stay there and you die with it without living up to your full potential or you figure out what it is, realizing you might not get it today, you might not get it tomorrow, you might not get it this month, you might not get it this year. But eventually, if you keep thinking about it every day and every day and every day and trying new stuff and trying new stuff and trying new stuff, that eventually you'll find it. You will. It might take you time. It might take you years to find it. But as long as you try to find it and you eventually do and then go on the pursuit of that, you will live a fully 100% fulfilled life by the time that you get to the end. So I want you to write this down and I want you to take some time and think about this today. You wake up tomorrow, you're given $500 million. You ask yourself this question, after I buy everything that I want, what do I do with my time? And that's it. Cuts out all of the crap and allows you to figure out what you truly want. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. You have to live a fulfilled life, even if you make less. Because would you rather have your children be happy or successful?